another sign kit to share with you guys. And I have a friend here that is going to come on and say hello in a little bit. But before I do, I wanted to share with you guys some Halloween stuff. So today's craft is actually a Halloween sign kit. Um, so it's one of the ones I was promising you that I wanted to get done. But um, Halloween is kind of like a toss up in this year, right? With all the things. Uh, as to like what you're gonna do or like what's happening or I don't even know and I was just talking to a friend um, And she was asking me. So what are you gonna do for Halloween? And I was like, I don't really know and she's like, let's get together and let's do something um, With the kids and I was like, okay fine. You know, it's a Saturday. We can pretty grill out who knows so I mentioned to her, you know, like this idea that I've seen kind of on some blogs and some different Pinterest pages or whatever, boo baskets. And you might know what that is, you might not, but basically kind of like the thought of like an Easter basket, but for Halloween. So you're gifting your kids, especially if you're a mom like me, you're gifting them like, you know, a little treat basket goodie. And I know it's busy time. We all gotta go somewhere. There's like one more thing to do but I have a solution for you. I have a friend who makes these adorable boo trick and treat. Did I say that right? Trick or treat? Um, balloon art, like candy, like this is, look how cute this is. And this isn't the only one she makes. So this one you can see it says, hello, I'm trying to keep my hand still. Hello, pumpkin. And the little ghost is holding it. She's making these. If you are local, you guys definitely need to take advantage of these. They're very affordable. They're like 20 bucks, right? And they come with the cute little cup and it has um, candy all in there. What's cool about this is it'll also last like over a week or so. So you'll be able to have that and then like you can either tuck it away in your closet and then like boo, boo Halloween, you know, on your kids, whatever. You can, you can do whatever. But I just thought it was so adorable. These are awesome. So if you're definitely local to my area, Winter Haven, um, check out that link because you guys, this I'm gonna have to get some for my kids because I think, and you have different ones, right? So she's gonna come on here in just a minute and kind of show you a little bit what she does too. And so I've put the link to where you can get these and then you guys can also check out like some other things that she offers. So I just had to share that. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put this right here and I'll talk about it in a minute when she comes on to say hello. Um, but we're gonna get started with a kit that we're making and it's a longer sign today. Normally it's 12 by 12, but today we're doing a 12 by 24 and we are going to paint this black. And I'm not gonna show you the design until I put the actual um, stencil on because I kind of want you guys to see it like kind of reveal it to you, I don't know, um, so that you can kind of just be like, oh, cute, you know, it's always some fun elements to the surprise. So, while I'm painting, this is my guest ready to come on and say hello to my friends? Now, I wanna, you guys, I know you're crafters or you're into crafting and you like to watch. She is adorable and she is so great with kids and so I'm the crafty life mom she's crafty herself um so of course I have to share some of these fun things with you guys especially if you have kids so um let's welcome can, I know y'all aren't clapping but can you clap you know you can clap for my friend Miss Daisy <laughs> well hello everybody <laughs> Treats, 
Trick or treats? I like to call them twist and treats. Twist and treats. Twist and treats because the balloon is twisted. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that makes total sense. I don't like that sometimes. Yeah, I'm a little I am twisted. A little twisted. <laughs> I'm a little twisted. I try not to like yeah. advertise that. Yes, I am. Yes. We call so that awesome. one. We call that one Boo the Ghost. <laughs> okay, so tell them about like how. It, so the link to where they can order one is there and is there like there's more than one so what are the different ones yes, we have three offerings this holiday season we've got boo the ghost we have frank the monster and we have gertrude the witch Ooh. and you also get either sweet and sour candy okay. chocolate candy or if you like both we'll mix them and so do they like indicate that like when they check out yes it's or? all on the form tells you exactly okay. what to do and as a bonus each one comes with a trick a simple little trick that kids can perform oh, and a video that's going to show that. them exactly how to do it and how to perform it. Oh, I love that. That's really cute. And yeah. okay. And so there's three one, there's three of them. There's a ghost, a witch. Do you have pictures of them? There are pictures when you click, click the, the link. link. Okay. I haven't clicked it. So you guys definitely click it and leave a comment and tell me which one is your favorite. Um, the other thing is that we are also doing, I, I want you guys to sprinkle our video. If you're new here, that means, you know, share our video, but if you're not new, we want you to sprinkle the video. Sprinkle. We do giving, we do giveaways and how they work here is at the end of the live, I look and see, we, I pick a winner and then I notify you with, um, like that you won for the, the sprinkle. And then I basically, uh, Send you. I think my dog is making a noise out there. Do you see? She's trying to get in. Um, that's okay. Let her stay out there. We don't want her in because she would trip on her. But at the end, I, I will notify you if you've won the giveaway and get your contact information to send you um, the, the goodie, right? The goodie of the day. So, okay. I've painted my blackboard. So this sign is obviously going to be black. And then we're going to do like a white um stencil on it so i'm gonna go ahead and let my paint kind of dry on this board now you guys know that um you've done these with me before you've seen them before um what i like to do is also stain the trim when you purchase the kits though these kits the trim is completely optional you don't have to do trim i'm gonna try not to get paint on my shirt today I got paint on my shirt yesterday and I still don't know if it's gonna come out. <laughs> I need to wash it and find out for sure. Luna, stop, hold on one second guys. My dog is pawing to get in the door and she's gonna chew it if I don't let her. So, anyway. All right, so we are into our weeks for Halloween. So I wanna know guys, sprinkle the love, thanks. Let me say hello to some of our people. Hi Sandra, Sandra, hi Diane. Let's see, Bo Attack Nicole, hello. Ooh, hi, okay, and there's probably some more, but I haven't scrolled. Um, welcome, and I'm excited that you guys are here. So, let's see, I'm gonna move that right. Oh, look, look at our little, he's so cute on a pumpkin. I just realized he's sitting on a pumpkin. Hey, Lady. That's super cute. Yes, do you have another job? I do. <laughs> do you know where ghosts go on holidays? No, I don't. Where do they go? Ghosts? <laughs> Come share your, you guys, I, I, I have something I want to share with you. Let's hear the joke first though. What's the joke? Where do ghosts go on vacation? I don't know. To the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> to the Bahamas. Crack me down. <laughs> she has on her clown shoes, guys. They are so big. I have to, this, uh, she's going to, do you want to take one off so I can show it? Can you take one off so I can show the shoe? It is so huge. It, the kids would love it. It's super cute. Look at this thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I got to paint. But definitely. And yeah. there's like flowers, daisy flowers on it, which that's her name, Miss Daisy. She does a lot of different um, entertainment things, especially if you guys are local. You definitely need to check her out because um, she has a lot of like different talents I would say that she does not just the balloon art like you've done parties virtual parties um she also is a blogger like me so she shares like fun tutorials and tips she has a lot of free printables for the kiddos like to do like activities they're great for birthday parties 
Um, or just like for your own little family. You guys are totally missing out if you haven't checked her out on her page. The little balloon guy things are just one of the things that she has. So you definitely should check it out um, and see because I know I'm probably going to be getting all of these for my kiddos and they're not here right now. They haven't seen them so that's a plus for me and it's going to be delivered and it's going to be done and I don't have to worry about like making a basket or whatever. I like the idea of the boo basket but guys the twist the twist and treat, that's what these are called. The twist and treat is where it's at. Easy and it's done. And if you're local, she's delivering that. So definitely check that out. Okay, so I'm stating my sign edges here, okay? Waiting for my backboard to dry. And I always stay in, you know, you guys know I always stay in all six sides of the um, actual pieces. I'm gonna put that over there just to dry. And that's because when we nail it together, um, I'm hoping my battery is good on my thing. I'll have to figure that out. But when we nail it together, that way if there's any corners that are showing, we, we don't see like the raw wood. It's got the same color. So I always, always do six sides. Let's see. Oh, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Let's see. We have some more. Amy. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, thanks for the sprinkles, guys. I love the sprinkles. You guys make me happy when you sprinkle. So... I definitely will be doing a giveaway today. So if you get a message from me, write me back so that I can um, get your contact information because I'm going to tell you I've done a couple and you guys don't write me back. So <laughs> I can't send it to you if you don't write me and tell me what you have. But if you sprinkle, you're definitely entered in to win a giveaway. And I make jewelry. I make shirts sometimes. I do... Um, little crafts. Sometimes I give away the craft that I actually made from the live, especially if you like comment that you liked it and I know that you liked it and then you also sprinkle. It's another thing that like just, you know, adds more to it. So you want to get in on that guys. All right. I'm on board number three. I know this is our longest part next to the stencil, um, but it has to be done. So it's dry, right? It has to be awesome. And maybe in a minute here, you guys like the jokes? Do you like the jokes? They're new for me. I like them. <laughs> They're cute. My kids would love that. They would be totally entertained with Miss Daisy and her jokes. Um, my little Eli, he would probably have some jokes to throw back to you because he's got a joke book. And <laughs> I don't know if he would tell them right, but... He was on the live with me yesterday. You guys saw him peeking in here, and he was wanting to be all in the video. I went back and watched it, and he kind of, I caught him kind of like watching himself on the live. So he's definitely turning into a little crafty person, I think, too. But right now his paper, his crafts are like paper and pencil drawings that he rips up and tries to tape together. So I'm going to have to improve that. But <laughs> he would love... Love, love, love to meet Miss Daisy. Okay, guys, I'm on number four, almost. I know, I said almost, whatever. Sometimes I get to talking and I gotta get to speed crafted. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping I do not get any more paint on my clothes. I'm gonna need to get an apron, I think, for these lives because I'm starting to be, you know, all into the paint projects. Getting hot in here too. Okay, so number three, last one, and then I'm hoping the backer board is dry so that we can do the stencil. So let's see here. So what else, Miss Daisy is back over here off the side of the camera. Tell us, Miss Daisy, what are some fun activities that you've done lately? What's some of your favorite things you've done, maybe, if it's not been lately? I do a lot of preschool shows. Preschool shows. And they usually have a theme. So, of theme. course, I'm getting ready to go back in with Miss Daisy's Oh So Silly Halloween, because we do things silly, not scary. Okay. So, there's always music and silly magic, lots of interaction with the kiddos. Mm -hmm. We just like to laugh and have a good old time. Awesome. I'm, I've known Miss Daisy for a long time, actually. Probably 10, 
20, longer yeah. before my kids were born. Yeah. But I have, before my kids were born, I was going to kid parties. And I think I've seen you at at least a handful of them over the years. Mm -hmm. So she's always doing like different, like people are starting to have their kid parties again. And they have like entertainment or they do like craft or whatever. And um, so you can do all of that too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she like comes and... It's like a show, or do you bring like? Sometimes we do face painting. Sometimes face painting. We balloons. And the kids love the face painting. Lily loves that. Like she's gotten different things, different times, but she's gotten like you do the full face, like it's a mask. Like I've seen you do like Spider Man and like a butterfly on the face. Um, and it doesn't like it's not trouble to wash off. It comes off really easy. Probably easier than my makeup. Um, because we've washed them off, like, on my own kids, and I remember being actually surprised that it wasn't a big old mess. It was actually fairly easy to, you know, at the end of the day, after they've worn it all day or whatever, wash it off. So, I do, I do know that. So, the paint's, like, pretty, I don't know what you would call that, but kid-friendly, mom, mom-approved, maybe? <laughs> All right, so there's our trim pieces. We're good on that. I'm going to start prepping the uh, stencil. And I could kind of flash it to you, but, you know, I want you to see it on the board. So let's see. We have some more people joining. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Jean. Hi, Mimi. <laughs> How are you? Hi, Nicole. Um, I am crafting away today. The kids have gone off. And we have um, a Halloween sign that we are making if you're just joining us. And oh, I just hit my little, let me show you guys, because some of you just joined. This is a um, boo, I'm calling it boo, but boo twist and treat. So you offer these year round though, not just Halloween. So it's a twist and treat. It's, it's for Halloween um, right now. She's got three of these um, that she is, showing and if you click the link oh that's cute I just noticed the detail on that um if you click the link that I put in the description you can see all of the options this is from Miss Daisy here I'm gonna put it kind of in the front there while I peel my design it's from Miss Daisy Entertainment she's here with me if you guys were already on you saw her come in with some jokes maybe we'll get another one in a couple minutes um but I just want to tell you about it so basically some of the moms in my groups, I've seen them on Pinterest or Instagram talking about creating all of these like boo baskets and they are super adorable, but nobody has time for that. And <laughs> I know Halloween's still a couple weeks away, but nobody has time for that. And so Miss Daisy has um, decided to come over here today and, and give me this to show you guys. Um, these boo twists and treats because it's done for you it has candy in the bottom and how cute would this be for your kids to like wake up to on halloween morning um these boo twists and treats they're super adorable they're balloons that are balloon art twisted and she has three different options um this one is the ghost on a pumpkin there's a witch and what was the third one i forgot monster like frankenstein. a monster like frankenstein um and so, if your kids are anything like mine, they love all that um, Halloween stuff. My kids like it to kind of be spooky, but I would say this is like a happy medium between like spooky and cute. And so, how fun would this be, all done with like pretty much a bow for you to get. And if you're local to the area, she's, um, you're delivered. So, um, they're delivered the week leading up to Halloween, which is pretty awesome. So you can like stash it in your closet. That's what I'm going to do. And you can, um, you know, give it to your kids on Halloween morning or what, you know, whatever. You can, if you want a later um, day, maybe like closer to Halloween or I don't know. She's going to tell you what that would be according to probably where you're at in the city. But I just wanted to share this with you guys because it's adorable and it's done for you. And I kind of like, I love to create and I love to put stuff together, but sometimes I love done and done is better. And um, this is super adorable. Like it's just this, it's probably two feet tall, about a foot wide. And then it has all the candy in the bottom. So you guys totally, definitely need to check this out. Um, I'm loving that. Okay. 
I've got this stencil ready. So my board, I keep, oh, I'm hoping I don't get paint on me. My board is, for the most part, dry. I've got the edge here, like, leaking, but that's okay. I forgot to grab a paper towel. I always forget something before I go live. It just happens. I apologize. But so our sign is going to be black, and then we're going to um, do the stencil part in white. And I'm going to get this stencil down. Oh, it looks like I got paint on it. That's fine. It's black. So, all right. So let's go ahead and get this on there. I'm going to try and line this up. I should probably do it this way. See, I'm kind of awkward when I craft too. I'm not perfect at it, guys. I know some of you say, oh, it looks so easy for you. It's not easy all the time. I still get quirky <laughs> with it. So, all right. So what we're going to do is line this up. I'm going to do this sideways. And so if this is a, I keep running my hand through the black paint. So I'm like covered in the black. All right. I'm just going to line this up to the uh, board here. And let's see, is there any questions? Do you may have any questions about the sign, the sign kit, the boo twists and treats? Um, we're doing a giveaway, so if you guys sprinkle the video, you'll be entered into that. I will um, reach out to you at the end, probably sometime tonight, um, and let you know if you won from sprinkling, which is always fun, right? Who doesn't love something free? It's usually created by me, or it's something that I did in the live, so it's always to your benefit to sprinkle the love and share. All right, so I'm just gonna cut this extra piece off here on the side, and then what we always do is we peel the topper piece off, and you guys know if you followed me for a minute, this is the most tedious part. Makes me sweat a little bit. <laughs> I'll be honest. So, <laughs> just says, because it's just, you know, one of those things where you got to get it started. And I'm struggling right now, I guess, with that. Okay. But you've got to take your time. When you peel these top uh, plastic sheets off, you've got to take your time. You can't let it pull too hard, too fast, because you do not want it to snag. You don't want um, ripping in your, in your stencil, okay? And I've said this before, I said it in my local class too that I've done, and you just, you gotta take your time. It's like the longest part of the whole process. You're ready to get the paint going, and then you've got the stencil, right? So, all right. So we're going pretty good here. We've got this whole side going, and just keep working on it. Keep being steady, you know. Slowly working through it as you get to the letters. You know, it's a little hard. Sometimes it wants to lift up. Just be careful you're not tearing it and work, you know, your way in towards the middle. That's what I tell everybody who does this. And I keep telling it out loud to myself while I'm telling you because they've torn on me too. But it's because you're rushing or you're going too fast with it. So just take your time. Be patient because it's the hardest thing is to get it off. You got to remember too that the backer board is painted. So sometimes the stencil, for whatever reason, it just doesn't want to, um, you know, sometimes it wants to go with the top sheet. So that's just one of those things. All right. And then the other tip that I have, which I think we're going to end up having to do on this one. We didn't have to do it on the last one, but we are on this one. We cut this extra, or it's not really extra. It's the part we've already peeled. We cut that off as we go. And the reason behind that is we don't want it to lay back down and resit. Like right here, that's happening again. I've already peeled this and it I'm having to repeel it because it laid itself back down because I did not cut that away. Okay? And that's what you don't want to happen. So I recommend cutting it off as you go. Which is what we're gonna do here. And I have these little poopy scissors today. So Sorry about that. Okay, all right. So let me see. Hi, let's see, oh, hello. I've got some more friends joining. Hi, Connie. Hi, Kathy. 
Hi, Trish. Is it Trisha? I can't see. I'm so blind. Hi, Trisha. I think it says Trisha. I hope I didn't say that wrong. I'm so sorry. Um, probably need some glasses. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just what it is. It's Friday. Are you guys happy it's Friday? Who's ready for the weekend? Tell me in the comments what your weekend plans are. Or what's your Halloween plans? I'm, I'm curious about that. What's your Halloween plans? What do you guys got going on? Are you doing anything? Is your neighborhood still trick-or-treating? Or are you kind of like, nope, not about that life. I'm happy to not do it. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you're doing. What's up? What's, what's happening? Okay, well, I do this slow part. So slow. I know, it's like the longer I'm doing it, the more voices you guys might get. <laughs> I do that to my kids all the time. I make voices and they, they kind of either laugh and giggle because they like it or they look at me like I'm crazy. So it's never like a complete one-way reaction. It's just, mom, what is wrong with you? Or they giggle. They giggle along with me or they try to make a voice to themselves like, they try to have voices, you know. We talk, we'll talk like Australian or British and they try to do it too and it's just hilarious. Mine's very terrible, so I'm not gonna do it. But we, we do we make voices all the time. It's our weird little thing, I guess. I'm hoping I'm not getting paint on me. I think it's pretty dry by now, but still working. Okay, we're about halfway there. Whew, I know, this is the slowest part. It feels like forever too when I'm live doing this and then sometimes when I watch the replay I I realize that it wasn't too too long but I know you're sitting there waiting just to see what is it <laughs> so it kind of makes me hot and I get stressed out but this is the one part that I said you got to take it slow you got I recommend you do a little bit as you go so I pulled up a pretty big piece you guys can see that right here and I'm gonna go ahead and get that cut off. This one little inside of the wording wants to come up with it. So I'm trying to make sure it stays laid down. And remember, I have a trick. If you've watched this before, I have a trick on if you're if you have like a fussy stencil. I cannot talk. If you have a fussy stencil, like it wants to keep killing up on you, I have a trick to actually make it lay down for you. And it also helps it from bleeding, which is like awesome because on signs like this, especially like this one, we're gonna just do two colors. You do not want bleeding. You just, you don't want it on a sign anyways. So um, the stencils we make here in, I make with for Crafty Life Mom, they're on the website, craftylifemom.com, you can find them. Um, they're one time use. So it's one of the questions we get asked a lot. We do not um, have that kind of like technology, I guess. This is just stencil material and we create the designs or, or use like commercial designs and then um, make them into the stencils so that you can create signs yourself. And we sell just the stencil or you can actually get the entire kit. You can add the trim if you want or you can have, there's a whole like make it for me option um, because I realized some people just like it done. Kind of like the whole boo basket thing, right? I just want it done. And my friend's um, entire uh, boo twist and treat is actually perfect for that because it's done and I don't have to worry about it. So, all right. Any other questions, you guys? I'm trying to see as they come up. Let's see. You cut that. I cut these designs. So if somebody's asking me, did I cut this design? out on a machine. Um, I cut this design out on the Silhouette, but I also have Cricut. I run both. Um, I have several <laughs> Silhouette machines, and I'm actually in the process of creating a course. So if you guys have trouble with that, you can, I always say this, you can leave a comment down below if you have some questions about running your craft machine or just getting started with that. I'll send you some information that will kind of help you with that. If you've never even bought one, I have information that helps you sort through um, which one to get. And I know that that's probably kind of funny to say because I run both, but there are things that I like on one machine 
um, that the other doesn't have. And so sometimes I switch my machines based off the project. And so I've shared that before and I've kind of created a little hub, um, all things craft machines. And so if you're interested in that, just message me and I will totally send you the links information on that. It's, it's free information that I have kind of compiled all together into like a little mini free course. So um, if you guys want that, I will definitely send you that link, okay? Um, so yeah, almost to the end here. I know this is slow, but this is our one of the bigger signs. If you watched yesterday's live, I showed for the first time a shiplap sign, which is all pre-cut like, it looks slapped but it's it's just cut to look like shiplap. And you can actually put a wreath on it. You can actually put a stencil on that one if you do. We don't sell it with stencils. It's just going to be by itself. Um, and it's unfinished wood, so you paint it, you stain it, whatever colors you want. And then um, you personalize it from there with whatever, you know, wording or stencils or, like I said, you can put a wreath on it. It's totally up to you. All right, I'm in the home stretch here. So, do you guys want to see Miss Daisy again? Is Miss Daisy available? Yeah. Oh, she is. Okay. So come back because I've had it. I think I think I can't tell. I think I've had a couple more people say hello, join us. And so I just want. Can you tell them a little bit more about your? Um, I put that in front of your face. Sorry. That's okay. Um, do you want to hold it? Or sure. I'm gonna peel this while she talks about that. Um, because I feel like I'm getting sidetracked when I. <laughs> this is Boo the Ghost. It is called, I call it Twist and Treat because the balloon is twisted. It's attached to the cup that easily pops off. Yes. Yeah, and it's filled you with everything. your candy. Can they see that? There you go. It's filled it. with your choice of all chocolate. Oh, I didn't open it. Yeah. Thanks. All chocolate, sweet and sour, or a mix. And a lot of times people ask, how long are they going to last? Well, they'll last. The, the, uh, about, like a about five to seven days. What they do is they just get a little smaller. And sometimes they last so long until this balloon gets so small that it'll just kind of fall off. But yeah, they last a long time if you don't have them in direct heat. I always like to say the balloon's going to last a lot longer than the candy does. Probably. <laughs> in my house, for sure it will. And we have Frank the Monster and Gertrude the Ghost. Yeah, so there's th in the link description. Or Gertrude the Witch. Gertrude, I don't know. <laughs> Boo the ghost, Gertrude the witch. We're going to get confused. Yeah, um, twist it again. Yeah. Um, they have, so you have three different styles. They're all in that link there if you guys want to check them out. Um, but they're just perfect, like ready-made for your kids, like a Halloween treat, right? That if there's definitely no trick-or-treating going around in your neighborhood, you want to consider that. Or like if you have grandkids, you know, and you're going to go see them, or maybe they are going to trick-or-treat. How fun would this be when you show up at the door with these? And like, you know what, Lane? What? It's for kids, but kids at heart, kids of all ages yeah. would love to get a treat oh, like yeah. this. So everyone loves balloons. There's something fun about a twisted balloon. Yeah. It's like instant joy. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. that. It's so awesome. I'm so glad you came here to I'm share so that with me. I'm so I get to see you in action. <laughs> this is totally fun. I know. It's not every day. Everybody Usually I'm probably. watching her on the other side of the screen. <laughs> yeah. I love to have crafty friends. I love to collect crafty friends. I say that all the time, like when I'm walking around. Um... It's my favorite thing. So, so you know, you know, before the ghosts go to the Bahamas, <laughs> anyway, the fashionable ones need some clothes. So, do you know where they go? Where do they go? <laughs> <laughs> to the boutique. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you should have like a joke book. You know, you need a joke book. So these we, are all recycled jokes. So we can we can uh, retell these jokes. Because I, I won't remember these. I love corny one-liners. That's my story. Corny one-liners. Yeah. Perfect. I love it. Yeah, so Miss Daisy is um, here local to me. I know some of you probably aren't, but she, you entertain through the internet, too. So I even do. if you're not going to be into the um, twists and treats. I'm working on putting a Halloween show out. Hopefully, I'll have it ready this coming week. Okay. And it's going to either be a live where you can sign up to watch it live or it's going to be pre-recorded so you can purchase it. So I'm oh, awesome. That. That's pretty cool. So that's like something to do. Definitely if you're not going out. Great right family night. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, but she does, yeah, she does like online things as well. 
And there was something else I was going to say. Oh, the printables. I mentioned that earlier. She also has, like, free downloads, guys, that you can do, um, like, with your family, like, different activities. And I think, I don't, I haven't checked it in a little bit, but you, because we, we see them, like, I have my kids. They're great for, like, kid things. You guys know that I do crafts, but I do, like, more of the home decor crafts than I do the kid crafts. And Miss Daisy is, um, my longtime friend, and she's also, like, on the internet blogger and, does all the things um, but it's all like kid driven so if you have kids you definitely want to check that out because you know it's, it's something for them too and you guys saw like in my live they're curious they like to do things they like to be crafty and they like to make you know things too like they like to feel that accomplishment that they made it so definitely check out that link that we put up in the um, the description for this live and also, I said it again, I'll say it again, the, um, the live, um, if you sprinkle, you get entered in to win goodies. Okay, so I've peeled it up. I know you guys have been patiently waiting. I've peeled it up. I've gotten it all good and clear. I'm just making sure all of the parts of my stencil are, you know, pretty smooth and flat down. It's not perfect. But I've got a trick to kind of help it be a little bit better. Um, it may still not be absolutely perfect, but remember, these are all handmade um, things, right? Made by you. So you, you're not going to get the perfect, perfect, perfect sign. If you want the perfect, perfect sign, then you, you would buy that like from a manufacturer, right? That sells them all perfect. So if you're into the DIY kits, remember to love what it is that you create because you created it and it, it's yours. It fits you and it fits your home. So, but to help it be a little bit perfect, right? A little bit more perfect. I always take out my Mod Podge before I actually do color, before I actually do color paint, right? And why? Because the Mod Podge is glue, right? It dries clear, okay? And I fill in all the parts to be stenciled with it. And I usually, like this is a bigger design, so I'm gonna do it with my hands. And I have a little bump here, like in my stencil, and that's fine. Like the glue is gonna kind of help it to lay down and create that first layer on my um, sign here. And that's what we want because we don't want it to bleed when we actually lay the color down. We, and bleed into like the black that I have underneath. We want it to sit on top, right? We want it to stay in where the exact stencil pieces are. So by doing this method or by doing this part of it, it's creating the first layer. And if it's gonna bleed, it's gonna bleed right now with the clear Mod Podge, right? The glue is gonna bleed, but it's gonna dry clear. So we're not gonna see it when we lift off the stencil, hopefully. You still may have some bleeding and that's fine. Um, like that happens, right? But um, we're probably working into about 30 minutes on this design, but we've been chit chatting and stuff like that. And I just, you know, you wanna take your time on it to prevent that as much as you can. Now I am rushing a little bit just to kind of show you guys this design, um, but I was chit chatting too. We were talking about Halloween. This is a Halloween design. So just make sure that you do this step. I couldn't recommend it more. It's just going to help it from um, bleeding. And look, I have a little piece that lifted out right there and I noticed it. So what I'm going to do is just try to slide it back into place. It's not perfect guys, but part of the imperfections that you're going to see with your design stuck to my finger is part of what makes this like, I don't know, cute, I guess I would say that word, right? It wants to stick to my sticky finger now. There we go. All right, so that is what I do. Um, I've heard people that do stencil designs or whatever, something similar, skip this, and you totally can. If you are confident with that, feel free to skip it. I recommend you don't. <laughs> all right, so I'm just making sure I've filled in all of my letters, and I'm just working from left to right here. I want to make sure it is all in there and that I've got it, you know, this helps it to lay down as best as possible and that's what we want it to do, okay? So, then when we get ready to paint, the next part is, do it. you see how I'm doing this blotting method? We're like pushing the paint into 
the stencil part where it's been cut and removed so that we can have the design. We are doing this blotting method and I'm kind of doing this fast because I'm working with the Mod Podge, but that's the same process we're gonna do with our um, paint, right? We're gonna just blot, 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 kind of like you're blending in your makeup, right? You guys that put makeup on, if you put on your foundation, you know how you kind of like blend it all together with that technique of kind of like quick patting into, not really sweeping like this. You don't really want to sweep it when you paint. You want to blot it into the, to the design. And the reason you do that versus the sweeping method or using like a paintbrush is because, right, you want it to not bleed. All of the reasons behind why we do what we do it, the way, the way we do it is so that it will not look. See, my design popped up a little bit and that's totally fine. This is not paint yet. So I'd rather do it on the Mod Podge layer than on the paint layer, right? Because this Mod Podge is like a glue and we're gluing it like down to the wood now with this whole layer of it, okay? On the glue part, I am kind of sweeping it where it needed to like lay down, but when it comes to the paint part, we are just going to blot, blot, blot into the design, okay? And I'm gonna show you guys, let me lift it up. You'll kind of be able to maybe see, you see that word there, hocus pocus. So that is a design that we are doing. I'm kind of on the glue or on the Mod Podge. Yes, I'm sweeping it into the design. I want it to kind of lay down the stencil, especially where it's bubbling, right? But on the actual painting, we're doing the blot, okay? Or like on the little letters, we're gonna do the blot. And, it, and for the glue, you can do either one, but if you have a bubble or something, it's, it's fine to sweep it when it's the glue. But you will see, when we go to do the paint, we will not be sweeping any of it. We will not be sliding it, none of that. We're just gonna do the blot method, okay? So I'm just doing that, I'm showing you how I Mod Podge this entire stencil. And you're probably thinking, what in the world that looks so bad? But it dries clear, guys. And I can see like glue already got underneath this little letter right here. That's fine, right? It's bleeding. Better the Mod Podge glue than it be the, um, the paint, right? All right, so I'm gonna put that one to the side. Let me put my Mod Podge away. It's, it dries fairly quickly, okay? Um, so you can kind of give it a few minutes to get to work on it, or, um, I mean, you can give it a few minutes or you can get to work on it. That's what I was gonna say. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started working on it from the top and just using my white paint. And this one's about out, so I probably will be grabbing another one. Let's see what I got. Um, I think I have one up here. Let's see, I have some, I know I have some Waverly, oh no, that one's kinda wet too. I have some Waverly chalk paint um, that we can use. I'll pour some of that out. And I'm just mixing that one with acrylic because I don't really have a ton of white. I might have another bottle down here and I'll get there if I have to. But let me go ahead and put the lid on and just let this paint fall because it's kind of thick. And we'll get to starting on blotting up here. So how I do it, I put my paint into my thing and I blot it and then I start like blotting out to kind of like remove the excess, right? And there's still a pretty good amount on there. So then when I start blotting to my stencil, I stencil on the like stencil part, not where it's like cut out. And then I start going into my letters, okay? And I'm just gonna coat it real light. And on white on black, you're probably going to need two coats. And I had a little ripple up here on this part of the stencil. So I'm gonna be honest with you, I might have to go back with a skinny, skinny paintbrush and do some touch-ups. So when we do the reveal of it in a couple minutes here, um, once I get it all painted, I'm gonna have to do some touch-ups where it rippled up here and that's fine. Like it does not bother me. I know some of you are maybe perfectionist about that. You might, you know, even be upset by that. Don't be, it's fine the way it is. It doesn't have to be perfectly crisp. If you want it that way, then you would you would need to buy it that way, okay? All right, so, but these are craft kits, these are DIY, and they're so much fun to do, especially if they come out maybe a little bit better than you expect. <laughs> because you can kinda, you know, admire your work 
for the whole month or however long you're displaying it. And I'm definitely going to add this one to a lot of the designs that I've done this whole month. And I'll take a shot of it. I have a table at my front foyer and I will show you guys like what I came up with, like how I display all the different sign kits that I make and layer them. So that's coming. I'm going to try and get that up for you guys tomorrow because I did take a shot with the one that, um, a picture with the one that I did yesterday, but now I'm going to add this one to it. So I'll probably have to re take that photo just to show it to you guys. Okay, so let me show you the paint process so far. It's kind of light, right? But the shine of the Mod Podge is kind of dry, so you guys are able to still see the design there um, partially. So I'm just gonna keep going to town on this. Now you could do two coats and get this super bright white. Or you could just do the light coat stencil and then go back and like paint with a paintbrush the brighter color. Or like you, like I said, you could do the two coats and basically let the first coat kind of have a few minutes to dry before you go back and do the second. So totally up to you, totally, totally, totally up to you. All right, so we're gonna keep going. I'm trying to see if anybody else. Hey, Boo, hey, Krista. That's my friend, how are you? I see you on there. Let's see, um, Cynthia. Hello, Cynthia. Hi, Shauna. I think I said that right. And I see where like the glue kind of bled right here and that's fine because we don't want the paint to, to bleed. So we're doing good. You guys hanging with me? Are they hanging with me? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. All right, so um, I know it's a longer live than usual. All right, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm, I'm in the home stretch though, guys. And so while I keep going, if you just join me, um, I had a friend come over to craft with me, Miss Daisy, and she brought over one of her, I just add the word boo, but they're called Twist and Treats, and she does them for every holiday. Um, so the one that I have to show you guys is a Halloween one, okay? She has three different designs of it, and um, they're perfect for like your kids because she, she's if you're local she's going to deliver these to you guys and how fun would this be for them to have on Halloween especially if you're not doing any trick or treating this little twist and treat is kind of like a fun little surprise the balloons are twisted here I'm going to show it to you while I while I blot kind of hide behind it the balloons are twisted into a cute design so this is a pumpkin and a ghost she has like a monster Frankenstein and then she has a witch one and I put the link to these um, in my description here for this live. So if you're interested in it, check it out. She also has like free printables and crafts and things that she does for kids through the internet. And I, I love it because she's kind of like a crafty blogger like me. And she, you know, does all the crafty things. <laughs> and so I just thought it would be fun to kind of have like craft guests come with me today and show you guys like what other people are up to. So I kind of like that. All right. So we're still going to town on this little sign, but we're nearing the end. And I'm loving that. Let's see what we have here. Hey, Lane. Hey, Miss Daisy. Hey, did you know that ghosts are getting really sophisticated? They can search the web. <laughs> You know She's what, got jokes, guys. Do you She's know what jokes. they use to search the web? What do they use to surf the web? Google. Google. Ha, yeah, ha, ha. Like That's so funny. Cool. Like Google. I love Google. Who doesn't love Google? <laughs> Google is my friend. Like, if I don't know something, I'll just Google it. Um, I think I sometimes use Google and maybe Instagram or Pinterest to look things up, but most part, Google. So, how fun. Okay. Oh, that was the other thing. So, Miss, in these like little um, twists and treats, they come with a um, like a trick, magic. right? Yep. Like a magic trick, and the kids can like do a little magic trick. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they'll probably want to come show you what they learned. So, that is kind of fun and entertaining for them to do. It's an activity as well, and then it has the like little treats in the bottom. All right. So I've gotten this all. Stenciled. It's one coat. I recommend two. Do you guys want me to keep going or do you want me to show you the design? It might be a little messy. I worked a little fast on it. Um, 
but you know, that's just life, I guess, right? I can always go back with, and I'm saying it like to convince myself, I, I always go back to, um, oh, someone said Boogle. Google, like a Google. Yeah, Google, but they're saying like boo, like boo, oh. Google. Ha ha, that's funny. That's cute too. That's cute. Um, but I'm bump. Yeah, I need the little whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't have that. Okay, that was me doing it. Um, so yeah, this is one coat, guys. I'm trying to like quickly get a second section on there, but I'm probably I'm gonna be really honest with you. I'm gonna go back with a paintbrush on this one and fill it in because it's gonna be kind of weak on um, the paint blobbage. But you guys have been hanging with me for like a good solid 40 minutes or more, so I'm trying to speed along for you guys so you can just see this design. So you guys ready to see it? <laughs> I know you are. You're probably like, just get on with it already. I know, I know, I know. I just wanna like try to get as much as it stenciled out as I can, right? <laughs> but I'm probably, this is one color of white on the um, stencil and there's just no way for me to like really speed it up. So that's the only downside to crafting live. You, you have the time, but you know, it takes the time. I can't speed up the video like I do on YouTube or when I post other videos that like a time lapse. I, I wish I could time lapse this part for you guys, but I can't. Okay, so I think we're good. I know I keep dabbing, but I think we're pretty good. It's gonna at least show you the design. And then, like I said, I'm probably gonna go back and touch it up with some paint, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start peeling. Let me peel from this side, this is where I started. I'm gonna lift off the stencil material and I'm gonna take my little boo guy. I'm gonna move him over here, just so I don't knock him over or get paint on it. When you go to lift off your stencil, when we lay it down, we lay it down horizontally. I say this every time, but when we go to lift it off, we lift it off in an upward fashion, okay? And, kind of like it with the creepy little like whiteness it's almost like you could distress it you see in that miss daisy's seeing it guys i know you guys aren't um but i'm lifting it off these are one-time stencils so it's this one's going to be done um and there's like parts where the white is like heavier and not and then once you lift it off and i like to do this before i show it so i know you're hanging tight just give me a couple minutes there's all the like insides of the o's and the b's and the r's you know of this design so you got to have a weeder tool you got to dig them out my favorite one here lately has been the stalls easy weeder um, this is a great company they sell a lot of great um, vinyl for heat transfer products I've done some lives with some of their stuff they have a great glitter product they have a flock product so I love the stalls they have the weeding brand that's we easy weeder and you guys, if you don't have any tools that comes with like a craft cutting machine or something like that, then definitely go pick up one of these because it's heavy. It has a nice weight to it and um, it just really picks these things out pretty quickly. And I can almost get like more than one with the weeder um, tool like at once. So, all right, so I've got like most of them out. All right, let me show you the design. And then remember, I did the trim on this one, so I'll add the trim too before I say goodbye. Um, all right, so here we go. I got two, ta-da! Cool. Looks cool, doesn't it? Miss Daisy likes it. Okay, so here we go. Super fun. I might leave it like the Distress White. I don't know. All right, let's take a look right here. You guys ready? says handcrafted and enchanted hocus pocus broom company since 1692 i almost said 19 since 1692 isn't that super cute now yes the the you can guys kind of see it's a little lighted color here and i probably can go back and touch that part up with paint and a really thin paintbrush or I can take like a sanding block and kind of just distress the entire thing so it looks weathered and it has that more spooky vibe. I'm gonna add the trim to it really quick and then I just got another idea. I don't have the, the materials to do the idea but I'm gonna share it with you um, while I do that. So sometimes that just happens. 
I, um, you, I'm going to put it right there. Um, I get another idea right in the middle of crafting. Oh, my sticks are sticking together. Okay, so let me see how these go. Is this longer? So this one is the side. So these we do second. All right, and these signs, when I do the longer ones, it's harder for me to do it. So just bear with me, guys. And these are just the backer boards um, that I put on. Here, let me do. You guys saw my black splotchy paint there. That just happens. And this one is a little off, but that's okay. Like, um, I probably rushed cutting it. <laughs> happens. But they line up pretty well. There we go. Oh, wow. I know. Power tools right here. I love it. <laughs> All right, so we got that. And this one, try not to get my thumb. It's always yeah, scary. Some pretty long nails in there. Yes, there is some long nails in there. Well, this is okay. So the trim, just so you guys are aware, you can add the trim onto your piece or you cannot. So the trim is one and a half by two inches. We cut it to the board and it comes and you can stain it whatever color. My favorite stain to get is the Old Barn Living brand of stain. It is pricey, so use it sparingly if you get it. They don't, I don't like have any affiliates or anything with them, so I don't have any links. I think they're just a local company that I found on Instagram in another state. Um, and, whoop, I did that all the time. So I just um, use, that and I'm about out. I'm gonna have to purchase some more, um, but that's just the way it goes, right? When you love it, I love this stain. I use it all over my house. And so when I decorate with the seasons, because I use the same stain, everything kind of seems to like jive and flow together. And that is one tip or trick I would say in making, oh, and making every, oh, I sit that out in the back. Um, oh, that's not good. Sending it out the back there. All right, there we go. I'm gonna get with it. Talking and trying to nail at the same time is probably not my strong suit. <laughs> All right, so I've got one that kind of blew out the back here. I'm gonna have to fix it, but um, that's fine. I've done that before. Oh, my husband's watching. All right, so let me put this last piece on there. But the thing is, is that's my trick. If you stain your stuff around your house, like anything that you want to stain the same color, then throughout your house it all flows together. And then same thing with decorating, use the same for all your like signs or pieces like this, you get the same effect. So now what I was going to say with this sign, what you can do is how fun would this be? I don't have to down, I have to if you got like those spider webs, I've seen them like at the Dollar Tree where you could have like the sweeping like spider web thing like draped over this, you know, or you could pair it with like a bright orange like funky pumpkin. You could paint like a jack lantern on it and style this together. How cute would that be? Um, kind of with that. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna go back and do touch ups where it's like really light there. You guys can't even see. See how it's super light right there? I would have definitely done a second coat. Um, but I kind of like it both ways. I kind of like it really crisp and I kind of like it, you know, like distressed a little bit. So I can't decide what I'll end up doing, but I will definitely show you when I put the pictures up. Um, so thanks for coming. Thanks for watching live with me. I'm so glad you stuck it out this long and I'm, you know, thanks for watching me. I know it's some time out of your day and don't forget to check out the link in my description box. I have for Miss Daisy with her, let me put these together because you guys are tired of seeing my face. Um, with her Boo Twist and Treat designs, okay? And you'll have some coming out for the different holidays, right? Like she has like Thanksgiving ones too, yeah. or yeah, and, and Christmas. And Christmas, so all the holidays. So if you don't do one this time, definitely look for the future because there's all kinds of things that she's always changing. And that's pretty much it. You guys, thanks for watching. I see some of you are joining, so I will see you guys on the flip side, and I hope you have a great evening and a happy weekend. Bye!